Uh, just two days until we find out who the next federal liberal leader will be. Frontrunner Justin Trudeau is expected to walk away with a top job. And if he does, it looks like he'll be starting on some very solid ground. Our Sun News pollster David Coletto is on, in Ottawa to explain this. And David, uh, you did this poll and you looked at a number of things about Justin Trudeau. But let's start with the voting intentions first. So what did you find? Good morning, Pat. And yes, uh, we completed the survey last weekend and what we found was that the liberal trend that we had seen rising last month has continued into this month and they're now tied nationally with the New Democrats at 27%. That's a three-point increase for the Liberals from last month, a six-point increase from the beginning of the year. And you can see that while the Conservatives still have a fairly, in our poll, a fairly healthy six-point lead, um, what's happening underneath them is, is changing significantly. The New Democrats are down, the Liberals are up, uh, momentum's everything in politics, and right now the Liberal Party has some momentum as they head, as you said, into uh, the weekend and selecting their new leader. Okay, is this all the Justin effect then? I really think it's part just an effect. It's part the fact that the Liberals have been in the news a lot. And, uh, you know, the New Democrats have had not necessarily uh, an easy time either with, with Tom Mulcair getting a lot of flack for going down to the U.S. And, and, you know, campaigning against Keystone. So there's a number of factors, but I think the, 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 probably the largest factor is the fact that uh, Justin Trudeau has been in the news a lot. And a lot of Canadians, as we'll see in a moment, look at him uh, quite positively. Okay. Uh, you know, is he ready to be prime minister, I guess, is the question that everybody asks. Well, it's, it's an important question, I think. But what we asked first was, you know, on the base level, do you even like the guy? Do you have a positive or negative impression of him? And what's interesting about Justin Trudeau is, is that, you know, we, we often talk about the baggage maybe that his father brings, the name, particularly in Western Canada, maybe even in Quebec. You can see here, though, that by and large, Canadians have a, have a positive impression of, of Justin Trudeau. 43% said positive, 21% said negative. You, you have to go quite a ways back to find any political leader of any political party when they were to assume the job, and let's assume he does win this weekend, to have such positive numbers. So he comes in well-defined in, in a very positive position. What we also did, though, as you said, is, is, is he up to the job? And we asked Canadians, do you agree or disagree that a number of statements reflect or describe uh, Justin Trudeau. And if we put up that board, what we'll see is some, some obvious things. For example, do you think he's likable? 75% of Canadians said yes. You know, Justin Trudeau, no, no doubt about it, is likable. That crosses all political lines, all regions of the country. But what's interesting is, is some of those others. More style than substance. A majority of Canadians agreed, said yes. We think he actually has more style than substance. I think it's interesting. That's been a, a criticism of, of him, not only by others, but those running against him uh, for the leadership. Nonetheless, Canadians agree, but they're still willing to vote for him. Other key factors, um, you know, empathy is an important attribute in politics. They want, we want politicians who understand our problems, who get it. 47% of Canadians agree that he understands the problems facing Canada. Two areas, though, where he's got a little work to do. Clear vision for Canada. Is he qualified to be prime minister? Those are, are, are lower. Those are the lowest we saw in our, our survey and areas where he's going to have to improve. Now, the last question we asked is, okay, we now, if Justin Trudeau wins, we'll have a pretty clear sense of who might be the next prime minister, who is likely to be the best prime minister of the leaders that we have. And I think it's interesting, and if we'll put up this board, first, unsure wins. So the fact that you, enter, you add Justin Trudeau in the mix, I think stirs the pot a little bit. And a lot of Canadians are now wondering and are unsure of who would make the best leader. But you can see Stephen Harper still comes slightly ahead of Justin Trudeau, but as the Liberals pick their leader this weekend. The New Democrats are gathering in Montreal to try to figure out how they're going to win the next election. And the fact that only 13% of Canadians pick Tom Mulcair, even though he's leader of the opposition, um, I think is troubling for them. These numbers spell uh, a lot of trouble for the New Democrats as Justin Trudeau, if he does win, is going to enter the political scene. Yeah, I, I want to talk about that 31% unsure. Is that an unusually high number? Um at this point, given that we're, what, two years away from any kind of election? It, well, I, it's, un, it's high, I think, right now, that, and higher than we've seen it, considering the fact that three of those four leaders, we've seen for, for, for a while now, Tom Mulcair has been around over a year, um, and Stephen Harper's been prime minister now for seven years. What's interesting is Justin Trudeau's the new factor. And I think, as we've seen the, the other numbers, there's a lot of goodwill out there for him. People, I think, are going to willing to give him a chance, but they're not willing yet to say he's the best 
to be the Prime Minister, and that's why I think a lot of people have moved away from Stephen Harper and Tom Mulcair are now sitting on the sidelines until they figure things out. One number ju did jump out at me, that 75% that uh, think he's likable. Who are the other 25%? <laughs> Well, they're the people maybe who don't have an opinion. Very few people disagreed that he wasn't. It was, it was those who said unsure. Those are those who probably aren't paying much attention to politics to begin with and don't really care. But pretty much among those engaged, um, it's pretty universal that they agree at least he's likable. They may not like him, but they agree he is likable, and that's a, oh, okay. a, a, a lethal uh, or killer uh, attribute to have as a politician in Canada. I guess it is, yeah. David, great to chat. Thanks very much. Have a Thanks, great Pat. weekend. You too. Sun News Pollster, CEO of Abacus Data, David Coletto.